Hi guys, welcome back. Let's play Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. We just defeated the boss of this area, and we got a, uh... We got a, uh, Master Seal from him. I'll explain what that does later. Meanwhile, let's have both pick some chests. Oscar will take that. We're pretty much done here, so let's, uh, get out of here. Seriously, are you sure you don't need me to stay behind and watch your back? I'm sure. Let's have Miss do some healing, though. She needs some experience. Okay. You open this one. Javelin. Sure, you can take that. And a short axe. Actually, you know what? Uh, give you one, and you take a javelin. There we go. Okay, let's start leaving now. I can go ahead. I'll keep the road secure. You know, secret is just isn't my way. I'll just have her healing for some experience points. I don't like it, but I'll follow your orders. Go ahead, bike. Watch yourself. Yeah, we talked to those two guys, so don't worry. Mind you, if you Ike is the last one to leave, um, he'll obviously you'll obviously end the map. You know what? I'm just gonna end the map. But I'll let everybody escape first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have to do it. Like I said, you can have Ike do it first, then the map will end. I'm going to ride head hike going to see if there are any more units ahead. But I just want to show you the dialogue that happens. So fine. I'll show Miss. I thought that it was going to take forever. I'm going out. I could be waiting for you, so hurry up. Time to get out of here. Boyo! I probably just wasted a whole bunch of bonus experience, you know. I brought one of the Korean soldiers who was being held prisoner. Hell, I'm sure you, you are unaware of this, but I am Princess Valencia. Oh, yes, quite right. I'm Kieran. I served under General Joffrey as leader of Crimea's 5th Platoon. My platoon had the honor of escorting you from the palace during the Hind's attack. Really? You were there when... I was. Lord Venning ordered my platoon to accompany General Joffrey, Joffrey to serve as your escort. Our mission was to see you safely out of Crimea to King Gallia, or Gallia's king, but we failed to. And when you were lost us, I believe my worthless life was at its end. Yet here you are, to think that I would be so blessed to see you again. Such a moment, such emotion. I... Which, <laughs> Here and where are there any others? Such terrific emotions. So I beg your pardon? Did anyone other than yourself survive? Of course. Though I was the only one unfortunate enough to suffer the misery of captivity. General Joffrey and several of his soldiers fought off the dying attack. They were able to slip away. Even now they wait in Crimea, hoping for one last chance to strike a blow against dying. Joffrey, he is a type of those how those words drive off the shadows across my heart. Thank you, Kieran. Thank you for surviving. You're too kind, Your Highness. The opportunity to serve you again is the greatest reward I could ask for. For as long as I draw breath, I will stand ready at your side. This I swear. Alright, we all know where Kieran stands. How about you two? Will you recognize Princess Silencia's rightful heir to the Crimean throne? Will you fight for her? Look here, my name is Brahm, and this last is Nephany. We're just simple country militiamen from the same territory. Now, we don't know much about nobles and stuff. Kings and queens don't matter much when you're working the fields. Of course, we'll know, we know we'll be in trouble if someone takes our fields away from us. So that's why we joined the militia. This king of dying is no friend of ours. I hear he's doing terrible things, too. Vile tortures with rusty nails. And, and more! 
what's going on to happen to my family. I left them back home, and I'm so worried I can hardly see straight. If you can defeat the King of Dian, will this country return to the way it used to be? Is that what you're after? It is my hope. I may not be as powerful as my father, but I will never abandon Crimea. You sound like a lady who stands by her word. Looks like my choice is easy. Mine too. I'll fight in your name. I will help you and yours, and we'll send those dying milk sops packing. Thank you. I beg your part. Your oh blessed saint. Master Sipper, you're alive. Brom Nithin. Are you the you were wounded? We're fine, but what about you? You were jailed for helping us. I'm so sorry. Oh, I hope they didn't hurt you. There's nothing to fret about. Everyone is safe, and that is what matters. Oh, blessed one. Pardon me. May I have a moment? Yes. Oh, you're the man I met earlier. I owe you so much for freeing me. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. You don't have to thank us. However, I'm curious about your situation. Why were you aiding Crimean soldiers? Do you question my story? You're a monk on pilgrimage, as well as an ally of Crimean resistance fighters? Under the circumstances, do you blame me? Tell me something, Nick. If you came across a wounded person, could you ignore his plight? Normally, no, I could not. But in times like these, where it means risking my own life, I don't know, it's tough to say. Ah, you're quite honest. However, if actually faced with such a choice, a man such as yourself would not hesitate. If faced with an individual in pain, you would act instinctively. Your body would not wait for the command. Who, who are you? Really? You're so calm, so full of peace. I can't believe you're a simple monk. You'll forgive me. I must be going. Fare thee well, young warrior. I'm certain that we will meet again. Hmm. Ike. Oh, hello, Volk. What do you want? I was thinking about traveling with you for a bit. I'll be in the general area, so if you need anything, you can call me. I'll help out. For a fee, of course. What did you say? Why would you do such a thing? In times such as these, there must be many parties that need intelligence. Well, you sparked my curiosity and decide. No, we'll just have to leave it at that. That's not acceptable. Don't, believe, don't be so inflexible. It's not as if I'll be joining a merry band or anything. This is strictly business. And yet you... Tanya, I believe this is a good opportunity. You will almost certainly have need of this man's talent. He is a dubious character at best, but at least we know his motives. Everything begins and ends with gold. He'll be easy to control. Soren, he's standing right there. I don't think he minds. What will it be, Ike? Decision's yours. Let him come! Very well, you may do as you like. Excellent, call me if you need anything. More party members! <laughs> First the thief and then that monk. What an odd band of characters you've attracted. Randolph, have you finished your errands? All done. But about those two? Yes, they're both rather mysterious. Well, the monk seems like a decent enough fellow. Determining who is a friend and who is a foe is something I must be able to do. But it's just so hard. That's only because you don't have enough information to base your judgment on. All we can do now is press on. You're right. Indubitably. Alright, let's... Save my name. Booyah. Chapter 11. Blood runs red. What is it? Red Rose. Red Rose. Well, I don't know. Well, we're here. Welcome to Toa. Crimea's westernmost port city. What's with this place? People are going about their business. Why aren't they worried about dying? What about the war? It's because this area is fairly isolated. Dayan army hasn't come this far, and so life goes on as before. Dayan's plans to seize the capital and slowly and steadily expand its sphere of influence until it controls everything. Surely these people have some idea of what's happening. Ignorance is a form of bliss, is it not? These people don't know what it's like to lose a war. They don't want to know. Crimea as a nation has always been blessed by peace. Perhaps this is due to the temperament of its rulers, but the country hasn't seen serious warfare for centuries. While minor skirmishes with the Kingdom of Dayan have been legion, only the eastern borderlands have taken damage. And yet I know this is peace will not last. When we met Dayan forces on our scouting mission, they attacked us merely for 
being within the Crimean border. Humans are shameless creatures that carelessly ignore any misfortune which does not befall them directly. They can and often do turn a blind eye to all manners of wickedness so long as it does not touch them or their kin. They will bow their heads, condemning those victims for bringing calamity upon themselves, and then they will cast their eyes towards heaven in thanks while their neighbors lie dying around them. But the war is happening here. This is their home, not someone else's. When the Dayan army darkens their doorsteps, perhaps they will understand. When the peace they take for granted is shattered and their sons and daughters slaughtered in the streets, perhaps then they will com comprehend the misfortunes they so long pretend not to see. I have no sympathy for them. Wow! My goodness, the nastier the truth, the blunter he gets. Quite a delightful staff officer you have there. But yeah, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Godspeed, stay frosty, see ya!